Hey guys, Black Cross here, and um, figure I'd do a random opening for this um, new series that I'm starting up. Won't be all the time, but every once in a while I'll get something like it to do it. Uh, it's going to be an unboxing series, so yeah. You're probably asking yourself, why is it dark? Well, it's because it's nighttime, and judging by the release of this video, and the title of the video, wherever it's at, um, it's basically the midnight release for Dark Souls 3. That's right, Dark Souls 3 had a midnight release at my local GameStop. Which makes me happy, because that means I can pick it up and start playing it immediately and have the first episode release day one for you guys. So, I hope you look forward to that one. Uh, and I'm going to do an unboxing for Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition, because I ordered it. And, um, yeah, that, that's basically what's going on. That's what's going to happen. And uh, right now, it is actually uh, 9.28 at the moment. So you're probably asking yourself, why are you recording so early of a midnight release, and why? Well, from what I was told, uh, at 10 o'clock, they open up for any additional pre-orders. Basically, they're opening up early enough to where people can get done with the pre-order, pay it completely, uh, and then that way they get a sticker on their receipt that basically states that they've got it completely paid for and they're ready to get picked up. And then, from what I've heard from somebody else, because we technically live in the other side and everything like that, basically the other side of the United States, I guess you could say, we live in a different time frame. In other words, uh, midnight to us is actually 11 o'clock. So at 11.01, they will actually hand out the... Uh, pre-order games themselves. From what I was told, it's been a while since I've done these. In fact, uh, the last time I've been to a midnight release for a game, I think it was back when Final Fantasy 13 came out. So, that's like, what? Four or five years ago, I believe? I don't remember. But that was before GameStop actually came to Crossville at it. That's before they actually built a GameStop in Crossville. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully they'll finally get it. And from what I was, and from what I know, Hamas, which is the new member of Delmar uh, Mullen Studios and everything like that, new member of ours, uh, he pre-ordered not only Dark Souls 3 but also Ratchet and Clank, which Ratchet and Clank, the new reboot series, is supposed to be released on the 12th alongside Dark Souls 3. And while I would have gotten a uh, Ratchet and Clank, I wanted to get Dark Souls 3 more. Eventually, I will pick it up probably later on, but until then, Dark Souls 3 had my attention at the moment. Hello, Hamas. Hello, Black Cross. So, from what I was told, you ordered not only Dark Souls 3, but Ratchet and Clank, right? Yes, sir. So, from what you told me, you were going to play Ratchet and Clank first, obviously, weren't you? Uh, yes, I've been looking forward to uh, this a little bit more than Dark Souls 3, I know. It's little... And very understandable, yeah. I mean, it's practically everybody else's childhood game. It's un understandable. Mine was actually uh, Jack and Dexter, which they still need to make Jack for, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm just, uh, I'm excited to, I'm probably going to play through just the story. I'm not going to platinum it yet. Right. I'm going to play through the story Ratchet and Clank, then I'm going to play through Dark Souls 3. I might platinum Dark Souls 3 before Ratchet and Clank, but... Probably. Definitely will platinum both. Right. Well, anyway, that was Hamas, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut off right here, and then I'm going to record the bit of where I come in with the box, and then I'll show you guys the unboxing of Dark Souls 3. Okay, see you then. Okay, so here it is, the Collector's Edition box. And, um... Uh, I'm going to do the unboxing, and then show all the stuff that's in it, so... Um... <laughs> pardon me for just a moment, I forgot where all my knives are at. Oh my gosh. People think I'm probably the Joker or something. Where did all my knives go? Now I know I had a knife out here somewhere. I can be serious right now. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Our knife. Okay. So we're going to open it up. There we go. Much better. Okay. 
Now then. Alright then. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna fix the camera up, so hold on just a sec. Okay, hopefully you can see it, and hopefully you can hear the audio. I don't know, but... Oh well, we'll see how it goes. So, first of all, I'm gonna turn off the TV for the moment. Okay, there we go. That way you don't see the blue screen. Because, uh, I'm gonna play the game as soon as I get done with this. So, anyway. So, first off, we have the the Art of Dark Souls Trilogy. Yeah, looks pretty cool. So, um, just to kind of give you an ideal, let's see. Oh, here's something for you guys. The first art look of Dark Souls 1, uh, as you can see right through here, this is the uh, actual cover that it is now. Well, the original anyway. And then this one, I think, yeah, I think this was the prototype stage, or at least the still case book. So, uh, there's that. And then, on this right side right here, this is the actual screen, in which case it shows as you're going for Dark Souls 1. Uh, which is the Black Knight. And then this one right here is the Dark Souls 2 cover for the uh, update version. Or the Prepare to Die edition, I think. Um, anyway. Um, mostly Dark Souls. Uh, uh, so far it's all being Dark Souls 1 and 2 art booklets. Yeah, it is. It is mostly... Right now, this is Dark Souls 1. Oh, and here are the NPCs. Kind of give you an ideal, you know, just to kind of see all of it. If you want me to showcase the entire booklet, let me know in the comments below. Um, I just didn't want to because this is probably like a, what, 100 page art booklet? Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward to like Dark Souls 2 or something like that. Uh, here we go. Here's some more stuff from Dark Souls 2 right here. Um, more arts and everything like that. Here we go, here's even more art for Dark Souls 2. It's really nice that they actually included Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 art. Which, that makes me happy. Makes this book even more bigger. Um, if I can find anything... Oh, and it even includes the DLC bosses as well. The, uh, one from the, uh, um, second DLC, I think, is the, uh, oh, all of a sudden I can't think of it, but then there's the, uh, the Burnt Ivory King. I think that's Thum Knight right there. Yeah, Thum Knight, I believe, yeah. So, here we go. I won't give too much spoilers for those of you who haven't probably played the game yet, but, uh, yeah. This is pretty much a sample of Dark Souls 3 art right here. Like I said, if you want to see the whole booklet art, let me know in the comments below. But, uh, yeah. Our back cover, and it's not too bad, actually. It's pretty good. I like it. Then we got the still case for the game. The still case. And it's actually, uh, um, I don't know how you can kind of call it, call it. Um, for those of you that collect still, uh, cases, you pretty much know what I'm getting at. But, um, this is the front cover, which shows the bonfire and everything. And then here's the back, which shows the Red Knight, is what it's called. The Red Knight. And, um, it doesn't really have anything in it at the moment. Uh, I don't know if I want to put anything in it, because of it being a collector case, but I love it. It looks really cool. I really, really love how it looks. It looks really nice. I don't know. I'll decide on that later. Um, then we've got this right here, which is the cloth map of the entire worldscape. If I can open this up, maybe... Um, okay. There we go. Ooh, it feels nice, too. Maybe want to frame this. I don't know. Yeah. 
I think I'll frame it. Oh, yeah. Here is the map of the entire landscape. I'm gonna try for. I'm gonna try to paint it out to where you can actually see it. There we go. Can you see it? I hope you can, cause I can't see it right now. <laughs> I'm looking at backwards, but uh, if you can see the map, let me know. But yeah, this is the cloth map of the entire world. Uh, looks a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Cause if this is supposed to be the world of Dark Souls 3 right now, then damn, it's a lot bigger. Like so far, I've known about the castle part. I don't know anywhere else. Damn, that's big. That's a lot bigger. Um, actually, before I go into anything else, uh, go ahead and show you something interesting that happened at the midnight release at GameStop. Uh, come on. There you are. There you are. Okay. As you can see, I've got the keychain for Dark Souls 3. Now, normally this keychain can be attained through the Pro Reward Card, but they had a whole bunch of these, and they were like, for anyone who had pre-ordered Dark Souls 3 can get these, and everyone that ordered Dark Souls 3 practically got the whole thing, and I love how it looks. Look at this. The bonfire. Ain't that neat? That's really awesome. I don't know if I want to put it on my key or make it into a necklace. I don't know. Because, I mean, I can take this ring off, and then it becomes, like, a pendant. So, I may do that. I don't know, because I don't really have enough room on my keys as it is. Plus, I want to show it off, so why not, right? Um, but we also have the actual game itself. The actual game of Dark Souls 3, right here. In his own little holographic uh, case. And then there is the actual game itself, which I will open it, um, okay, there we go, make certain you have a knife whenever you're opening stuff like this, it comes in handy, don't use a butter knife though, just get you a carefully used knife, don't cut yourself in the process, I, I, I don't want to hear anyone cutting themselves while opening these, opening these things, so, yeah, just, just don't do it. Don't don't cut yourself. Man, my room is a mess. That does not surprise me. But my room is a mess, I know. I know. Anyway. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, so... Here is the game, and here is the soundtrack for Dark Souls 3. I did not know that both of them was going to be in the same case. But well, that's pretty cool. So the CD's right here, and the game is right here, as you can see. Pretty cool. And it's the uh, Day 1 Edition. Show you the back of it, so you can kind of see. Okay. Slide this back in. Just say, keeping. And then, arm yourself with knowledge. Oh, okay, that just tells you about the... Uh, yeah, the Estes Flask Edition. Basically, the guidebook. They were also, if you pre-ordered the uh, guidebook at GameStop, they were giving them out, too. Which, I was kind of surprised. I was like, it took them forever to get the Bloodborne one. I didn't think they were going to get the Dark Souls 3 one done. But, apparently they did, in right time before the release date. And, uh, yeah, you can order this, or you can have a download a book. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But, Primal did a... Starter Guide for Dark Souls 3. And then here is the Frigid Dancer. I believe that's what it's called, the Frigid Dancer. Was the first boss that I recognized right off the back. And uh, I don't know how far it tells you. Or if it does. Uh, oh, it just tells you about the game mechanic. Yeah, it just tells you about the game mechanic, so... Okay, no problem. Digital free exclusive. Oh, okay. Uh, a free... Is it a free code? Enter this code to promo.com to unlock your free digital exclusive. 
Are we talking like the uh, prologue boss that everyone knows, or is it like the actual boss you fight first? I don't know. But according to what it says, assets video strategy for the first boss in Dark Souls 3. I'm kind of curious. So, there's the starter guide, which is technically the handbook, really. Just a handbook, so I'm going to keep you in here. Actually, I'll go ahead and keep this other one in here, too, so that way I don't have paper all over the place. So, yeah, right here. And I will listen to the CD after I beat the game. I don't want to have any spoilers for uh, anything else. But now, now that we got all that out of the way, move all this so that way I don't scratch anything else. I don't want to scratch anything. Move you out of the way. Now for the big one. And I may have to scoot the camera back for you to see it. But, anyway... Okay, so, this is the individual box for the figure, so, we can, oh, okay, okay. Okay, ready for the reveal? There he is, right there. And tape! More tape! Okay... There we go. Alright then. Okay, so, uh, let's go ahead and get this guy put together so that way you guys can see what he looks like. Uh, if you'll give me just a moment. Plastic, plastic, I've dealt with plastic long enough. Damn you, plastic, why must you curse me? It has to be. I don't know, I don't remember. That looks good, doesn't it? I think it does. Let me get a close. Let me get a better look at it. That way I can. Yeah, that that looks better. I'll kind of let you see the instructions. That way you know how to slide it in as well. Little tip at the handle pops off to where you can slide the handle in there. There you go. Where you can slide it in, and then you can put the handle back on it. So. But yeah, this is the figure that I wanted so badly. And now I've got it. And now I gotta figure out where to put it at. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me go ahead and bring out the Dark Souls 2 figure. And that way you can kind of see in scale of what it looks like compared to this one. Okay, so here is the Dark Souls 2 figure lined up with the Dark Souls 3 figure. Um, probably because he's in a fighting stance, uh, but it seems like this guy's a lot taller. Uh, yeah, probably just because he's hunched down and everything, but looks damn cool. They look awesome together. I wish they would have done, like, a Dark Souls 1 figure. I wish someone would do that. If anyone out there has a Dark Souls 1 figure... Preferably Oscar of Astora, the first one you meet. I would love that. I would love that. Just let me know where I can find one. And don't say eBay, because I've checked multiple times, in fact. So, yeah. As you can see, comes with the figure here. We have the... Can't forget the game. Right here. We have the still book, or not still book, but still game case. We have the cloth map, the trilogy uh, art book, which I think it has how many pages? Two hundred page art book, two hundred page art book, and then finally, because I got it through GameStop just for being there at the midnight release. The Keychain Bonfire. This was all for $139. Well worth it, I thought. So, there you go. The Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition. Looks freaking awesome. Um, let me know if you liked it, this unboxing of it. 
This is the first one I've ever done, so I don't know if it worked out well. I would have done it in a bigger area, but the problem is, is that everyone else is sleeping, and I didn't want to wake anybody up, so I had to do it in my room. Um, and after I get done cleaning up here with all this plastic and stuff, uh, and figure out where I'm going to put this little guy, this big guy at, little guy, big guy, compared to some of my other figures, this guy is huge. Then again, so is my other one, so... But anyway, I'm going to figure out where to put all this stuff at. Then, I'm going to get started on Dark Souls 3. Which you will see today, I guess. Because I'm going to try to release this video on the same day of Episode 1. So, either you saw this first, check out Dark Souls 3. If you've already checked Dark Souls 3, then you're seeing this. So, hope you enjoyed my unboxing. Let me know if you liked it. If so, leave a like and comment. And like I said, if you want to see the whole art booklet, just let me know in the comments below, and I will do a whole video of the art booklet. And, um, yeah. Thank you so much, and, um, I'll see you in Dark Souls 3. Take care, guys.